हेलो एंड नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द इनवर्स लैपला इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म वी आर आफ्टर द डिटेल इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म वी आर मूविंग अहेड विद द मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग द इनवर्स जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजिंग द पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन मेथड uh what i will i would like to uh, explain this method using the examples directly find the inverse z transform of this particular function 1 2 3 these are the different uh, roc or the region of convergence has been given in this example as soon as we have to have the partial fraction method or just to have the inverse z transform look at the denominator denominator have a two bracket so we have to separate them out this separation will happen using the partial fraction method partial fraction method because is both of them are the linear factors over here we can go ahead and use the hiding method for this particular partial fraction we can easily check out this partial fraction i will be directly jumping to the partial fraction it's coming out to be 1 upon z minus 3 minus 1 upon z minus 2 please do follow the uh, ilt uh, 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 partial fraction decomposition this particular playlist for the this one uh now in this case if we'll go ahead uh, with the case 1 mod of z is less than 2 then we can easily check that it's a mod of z less than 2 that means it's nothing but mod of z by 2 is less than 1 and if you we'll observe 2 2 is less than 3 therefore mod of z is less than 3 that means mod of z by 3 is less than 1 that means what we have done in the previous case to solve the different questions based on the inverse laplace trans uh, sorry inverse z transform we have to first understand the roc or the region of convergence here and according to that we have to just go ahead if so if you we'll observe here we have to have z by 3 and z by 2 so same thing would happen here in this particular first case in this particular first case we have to have 1 upon because i need denominator 3 so it's 3 by 3 into z minus 3 similarly minus 2 by 2 into z minus 2 then it could be reduced as 1 by 3 into 1 upon this is nothing but z by 3 minus this is z by 3 minus 1 so taking the minus sign out we will be having 1 minus z by 3 this is what we have written out over here similarly this is the next case is 1 by 2 into 1 upon this is z by 2 minus 1 again we have to take the minus sign out and has hence minus minus becomes plus and we'll have it here 1 minus z by 2 this is what we got it here in this case then taking this term from the uh, denominator to the numerator it is 1 minus z by 3 to the power 1 1 minus z by 2 to the power minus 1 and then just expanding it according to the the expansion of 1 minus z to the power minus 1 that is 1 plus z plus z square and so on till the infinity this is what the expansion we have done it here in the first this is the value of this z by 3 and this is z by 2 we have found out this particular case now this can be written as if we we'll multiply this minus 1 by 3 inside this bracket will be having this 1 by 2 multiplying with the, in the inside the bracket we will be having this particular form now if we we'll write down the generalized term of this particular sequence suppose this is the first sequence we have got it in the line and uh, another sequence is this one so in this particular first sequence if we we'll observe here it's minus 1 by 3 minus 1 upon 3 square Minus one upon three cube and so on. For this, this can be written as as minus three to the power minus k minus one. Second series can be or second sequence can be written as two to the power minus k minus one into z to the power k. This is nothing but or you can say the inverse z transform of the particular function in the given ROC as minus three to the power minus k minus one plus two to the power minus k minus one as the particular function or you can say the inverse z transform now case 2 is 2 is less than mod of z is less than 3 again the same case if you observe here 2 is let me explain you here here okay so first case is 2 is less than mod of z this gives us 2 upon z less mod of that is less than 1 another case is this one that is and mod of z by 3 is less than 1 so if you observe here we have 
divided here by 3 and then second we have divided by z. The same case what we have done it here the same sequence or the, the same way what we have done it so far we have to do the same thing here also and then we have to have the generalized term this minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by z is getting multiplied inside we will be having this one series and this is the another sequence or series what, what we call it as. Now how this sequence uh, is been um, connected to each other you can check out over here this is minus z cube by 3 to the power 4 minus z square upon 3 to the power 3 and so on this is minus 1 by z minus 2 upon z square and so on so that means here in this case we have got the this particular uh, sequence as minus 2 to the power k minus 1 because if you will observe here we have got it here 2 to the power 1 z to the power minus 2 2 to the power 2 z to the power minus 3 so it's it's less than 1 so it's minus of 2 to the power k minus 1 when k is greater than 0 when k is greater than 0 now in the previous case also previous case also we have got uh, the this the k is less than equals to 0 so this is nothing but minus 3 to the power k minus 1 over here this is the previous case also we can have it here this particular case also this particular case also we can have it this this is k, k uh, 3 to minus 3 to the power k minus 1 and we can have it here k is uh, greater than or equals to 0 because we have got all the powers of z on both the cases are equals uh, they are positive now this is also we have got it as this one so minus 3 to the power k minus 1 k is less than or equals to 0 over here now the case number 3 I think I have written here just a minute let me ok this is k less than or equals to 0 yeah let me just check correct ok fine because if you will observe here this is the same series what we have got it or the same sequence what we have got it in the previous case so we can just have it the same way what we have defined over here in this case here fine now next case is mod of z is greater than 3 that means here we can have this type of relation and that means this is nothing but 2 is uh, less than sorry 2 is less than mod of z 2 is less than mod of z that is 2 upon z mod is less than 1 and 3 upon z mod is less than 1 so that means what in both the cases we have to have or uh, divide by this set what we have done it here same way what we have done it so far we can just go ahead and you will be understanding this is nothing but this type of series we are going to get it which is exactly opposite what we have got it in the previous case so this is 3 to the power k minus 1 minus 2 to the power k minus 1 z to the power minus k k is greater than or equals to 1 and if it is 0 when k is less than or equals to 0 because we do not have any negative power or any positive power of z and that's the reason we have to have it in this way this is what so we are just finding out the the coefficient of z to the power minus k in the series if we do not have the uh, if we do not have the negative uh, powers of z we can just deal with this type of series which we have done it in the first case or first roc here in this case I hope you have understood the partial fraction why this is known as the partial fraction method because whatever the function has been given to us in the beginning that can be converted in using the partial fraction and the separation would be done and after that the method would be going um, um, can be proceeded as what we have discussed for this particular one question I hope you have understood the partial fraction in detail please put me in the comment section if you have any query I'm happy to solve them Thank you. Happy learning.